industry and invention. <clears throat> if you say so, sir. And remember, guardsmen, we must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad at the record. Very bad indeed. Stupid fact that we shut down. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Chances are very good. screams. What's that? A riddle? A word game? Okay. So, why would no screams worry you more? Because it is our job to look after Sokolov and make absolutely sure he continues his work. The screams are evidence his work continues. Thus, the screams are evidence that I have done my job. We. The screams are evidence we have done our job. You know, Guardsman, I don't care for you very much. Stairs and ask the madman yourself. If you say so.
Turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high hope which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great. <laughs>
under everything. Shout if you see him. you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Cell for Sokolov off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Calissa will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. 
It makes me feel better. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other before. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. <laughs> 